Okay, I bought this the other day, came Wednesday, gonna go fishing with it tonight. It's an IMAX Coast Thermo Smock. Um, I read varying reviews. Some people say, yeah, really good for the money. Some people said, oh, rubbish, the zips go, you know, and so on and so forth. I don't use zip pockets that much. Um, I've just been using an old one-piece waterproof suit to fish in mostly. Um, but I decided, I got, I got this from eBay. Um, 39.85 or something and I figured if it does me six months of the winter it's less than 40 quid um, a lot of people are saying it's not worth the money well for 40 quid for six months fishing one two three sometimes four times a week I don't think that's that bad um, I looked up just getting a normal winter jacket, a padded type winter jacket, just for everyday use. 60, 70, 80 quid. So if you can buy something to go fishing in that's kind of alright, for 40 quid, that's not so bad. I know you can get vast ones for like 69. If this doesn't hold up to the job, I've spent 40 quid. 40 quid's not much money really, whoever you are. And if it does kind of do the job, then 40 quid well spent. If it doesn't do the job, like I say, I buy a vast one. So anyway, I decided to do a bit of a review. Uh, so far, tried it on with three layers, a t-shirt underneath, a skin type top, and then a big, you know, sweater shirt, sweatshirt hoodie. The only thing I found with the hoodie underneath was the hoodie stopped the, the zip doing all the way up. I got an extra large, because I'm quite a, a, a well-built chap, not fat, but just, you know, muscularly well-built. I probably ought to have got the extra extra large, but I don't want too too much bagginess. Um, I like clothing to be quite quite a good fit. I'm impressed with up in here in the sleeves um, without having someone wearing it. When you actually put it on, what happens is oh, that fell down. Never mind. These, which are like a neoprene, actually come out, and then you can pull it back up into place. I'll just hang it back up. Actually, I'll hang it on there. So, yeah, they come down. You pull it back into where you want. You know, you, you pull on the sleeve, pull that right. You've got these that loop back through here. So you get a really, really tight fit around your wrist. I'm impressed with that. Nice, good sized pockets, thermally lined. Huge pocket on the front, which, again, got a zip and thermally lined, I think. The zip here, I'm pretty impressed with. Maybe it won't hold up, I don't know. And when it is zipped up, try and zip that up with one hand, it does go up nice and tight. And these do actually go across really well. So I am impressed with that. Um, we're going out to fish tonight. We've got, we're on in North Norfolk. We've got 40 to 42 mile an hour westerlies, which are going to be blowing straight down the beach. It's not going to be great for fishing but then again could be bass or coddling about certainly be white and about um, so i'm going to give it a good test tonight chance of some showers later maybe but certainly a hell of a lot of wind um, i've decided not to wear a one one piece oversuit underneath this i'm going to just wear leggings so i can test whether this actually holds the wind out um, anyway i'm impressed so far but like i said i've only worn it in the house I want to see what it does when we're out actually on a beach in a westerly with a lot of wind and maybe even some rain. Right, we've come to have a go at fishing in this. It's a northerly, so it's coming straight at us. So I don't know if we will actually get very far, but we've come here, so we thought we'll have a quick look. Um, some massive swell and some good sized breakers. It's going to be tricky casting into the wind, but we'll give it a go and um, see how my my uh, iMac smock holds up. I did wear it last night but we didn't fish and um, yeah it's really really windproof. Um, it might be a chance of rain so we'll see. 